What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Today is Thursday, February 15th, 2024. I'm heading to my first service call of the day, which is located in Oceanside. Oceanside is on the south shore of Nassau County on Long Island in the great state of New York. Can you sense my sarcasm there? When I say the great state of New York like that, I'm being sarcastic. I don't think there's anything great about the state of New York. Absolutely nothing. Other than we generally have pleasant summers. When I say the great state of Florida, I love it because I'm saying with emphasis that I really, really love the great state of Florida. <laughs> Which was where I will be on Sunday, this coming Sunday, to Tuesday evening. Working for uh, our, my other company, Plumbing and Air by Tom. Which, over the next couple weeks, I have some great news to announce to the community. It's going to be epic, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be epic. So make sure you stick around because the announcement that I am going to make is literally going to blow some people away. I kid you not. I kid you not. All right. You see that sun right there? We're driving that direction. <laughs> so I got my sun visor down. Oh, whoa there, buddy. Hey, come on. What are you, stupid or something? Are you stupid or something? Let's get going to this service call. They got... Too much heat in one zone. Well, let's go see what's going on. I'm good. Got some rooms that are too hot. Too cold. So it's a big difference. I can't understand it. All right. Let's keep the uh, heat in. This room here, we wake up in the morning, it's cold. But it's set for 72 and it says 65 in here. It's cold? My bedroom. I didn't make the bed. I'm still making it. She's just going to make the bed. My wife's going to kill me. You make the bed. He's coming yeah, up. Yeah, who cares? Uh, Why? Well, we're we're going to join me? <laughs> we're going to stay in the bedroom? <laughs> that's, the bed. that's piping hot. Yeah, piping hot. Well, and she goes with hot flesh. It's working so fine. Well, it's extremely warm in there. She puts the air is it too warm. hot? Yeah, and it's too hot. What's the thermostat set to? That upstairs is probably 72. And what is it reading? I don't know. Really like that one. Should we go see? How's everything all right? I'm good, thank God. I just want to say that again. What, therm what brand thermostat is this, by the way? Oh, from 2008. I figured this is the thing you know, first change the thermostats. No, but it's like recessed into the wall. I'm like, I would hate yeah. to do that to you. What the fuck? Okay. No resistance. No resistance. Let's turn off that thermostat in the on the first floor. First floor one? Yeah. Uh, why people leave these things in there is beyond me. All right, she's clean there. That's good. So we have no resistance. Means the zone is open and it is actively calling. So let's see. Oh, I heard it. So now it's off. Turn it back on. Sorry, we're doing, just doing some tests. You're cheaper than me coming with an assistant. <laughs> okay, and watch. As soon as that thermostat kicks on, you will have resist from resistance to no resistance, like this one. See, this is active. This one's not. Now, the question is, is that is it going to the right location? This one looks like it goes down, so that's definitely the first floor, and the other one is the... Okay. They just have a bad thermostat. See, that moves freely. Yeah, I'm guessing a bad thermostat. We gotta give him a new thermostat. Now, just real quick, we have a condensing uh, boiler here, modulating condensing. One of the things you want to do with those boilers is, especially if you're doing 
like hot water heating, hydronic heating at a baseboard, cast iron radios, etc. You don't want that 180 degrees. You want this as close to 140 as possible because it's a condensing boiler. It loves to thrive when it condenses, right? The lower this temperature, the more efficient and effective the boiler will be, the less wear and tear, and the longer that it will last. So here we have a condensing tankless combi and we're space heating temperature set for 165. I would like to lower this down a little bit more. Let's do 150 and this will thrive even more. If you keep it at 180, it's never gonna condense, very little condensing, uh, and you're putting a lot of wear and tear on the machine. Just facts. And if you can utilize an outdoor reset, it would be even better. And another thing, if you have baseboard like this, this is slant fin number 30. Slant Finn, unfortunately, went bankrupt during COVID. Sad. Long Island Company, been a, a manufacturer of Long Island for like a forever. A staple a in the community, was, right? Everything was just a Slant Finn, yeah. Yes. And these operate very, very simple. You have a copper tube with these aluminum fins on them, right? And, you guys see those fins in there, maybe. There they are, right? You got a little bit of dirt on there, but you got like several dogs, so. Right? And the way these work, right, is natural convection we have cold goes to hot and it'll circuit like this so the cold air as as the tubing is heated by the boiler or the source of the hot water the cold air rushes across the floor goes through this opening and then through the fins and then up the top if you want to stop convection there's two ways of doing it you can redo your flooring and elevating the floor up a couple inches blocking the bottom and you'll they'll be hot to the touch but you will not have any circulation and I have many customers who do that. <laughs> and then why, why why is my house 60 degrees and it's and it's, it's hot? There's something wrong with the boiler, right? Or the louver's closed. If you close the louver, you will stop convection. It will stay hot to the touch, right? But you it will not heat the area. Just food for thought. All right, so we took out that, <laughs> that Home Depot special thermostat and Temporarily, even if I were to put a wall plate here, it just looked dumb. But this is what we did. This is what the customer approved. And our White Rogers Series 80 fits right there. It's nice, 68. Let's make sure the zone valve is open. Okay, no resistance, no resistance. That is hot, perfect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, lesson here learned. If you have a condensing heating system for your home, for your property, remember, it's not going to condense at 180 degrees. I know it's, it's built for that. I know it'll work, but it's not going to thrive. Set that to as low as possible. Utilize an outdoor reset. An outdoor reset is an outdoor temperature sensor that's wired to your boiler's controls that will modulate the boiler temperature based on outdoor temperature. It's a great way to save some money. Um, thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.